Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create a boot kit in ArcServe UDP Agent for Windows. The ArcServe UDP Agent for Windows utilizes a boot kit utility to combine a WinPE, a Windows pre-installation environment image, and ArcServe UDP Agent image to create a BMR ISO image. This ISO image is then burned onto a bootable media. When you perform a bare metal recovery, the ArcServe UDP Agent bootable media, CD or DVD, or USB stick, is used to initialize the new computer system and allow the bare metal recovery process to begin. To create the boot kit, you first need to launch the Create Boot Kit utility. You can do this either from the Advanced Options of the System Tray Monitor or from the Start menu. The Create Boot Kit utility is launched. Now specify the type of BMR ISO image to be created. Select Windows 8 8.1 to perform BMR for Windows 8 or later, or select Windows 7 to perform BMR for Windows 7 and older computers. Then click Next. After you select the type of BMR ISO image to create, the utility immediately checks your computer to determine if the corresponding Windows kit is already installed. To successfully create a bootable BMR image, you must have the appropriate Microsoft kit installed. If you selected Windows 8, 8.1, you must have the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, or ADK, for Windows 8 installed. If you selected Windows 7, you must have the Automated Installation Kit, or AIK, for Windows 7 installed. If it is detected that the Microsoft Kit is not installed, you will have the opportunity to download and install it before continuing. Then click Next. The Select the Boot Kit method dialog opens. The Create Boot Kit utility provides two options for generating a bootable image. Create Bootable BMR ISO Image, which is the default option. This method creates an ISO image that can then be burned onto a CD, DVD for storage. Or Create Bootable BMR USB Stick. This method creates an ISO image and burns it directly onto a portable USB stick for storage. You can use either of these two bootable media to initialize the new computer system and allow the bare metal recovery process to begin. In this video, we will select the default option of Create Bootable BMR ISO Image and click Next. The Select Platform and Destination dialog opens. Here, you need to specify the platform and destination. First, select the applicable platform for the ISO image. You can select either of the two available options or both. The available options are BMR ISO image for x86 platform and or BMR ISO image for x64 platform. If you select both platforms, it will result in added time to create the image. It's important to know that an ISO image that is created from a 32-bit platform should be used to restore a 32-bit server. An ISO image that's created from a 64-bit platform should be used to restore a 64-bit server. If the BMR ISO image is used to perform BMR on a UEFI firmware system, you must select the x64 platform. Now specify the destination or browse to the location where the BMR ISO image file will be created and stored. And then specify the name of the generated BMR ISO image file. Then click Next. The Select Languages dialog opens. Here you can select the language for the generated BMR ISO image. During the BMR procedure, the user interface and keyboard will be integrated with the selected language. You can select one or more different languages for the BMR ISO image. However, each language selected will result in added time to create the corresponding image. The more languages you select, the longer it will take to complete. As a result, you should only select the languages that you actually need. English is the default language. Now click Next. The Specified Drivers dialog opens. In this screen, you can specify drivers to populate the driver list with drivers to be integrated into the BMR ISO image. When you click Include Local Drivers, the utility will check your computer to determine if there are any critical device drivers that need to be added to the BMR ISO image from this computer. If any critical device drivers are found, they are automatically added to the list. To add or integrate additional drivers into the BMR ISO image, click Add Driver. You can click the Delete Driver option to remove any drivers selected 
from the list that you do not want added to the BMR ISO image. Click Create to launch the bootable BMR ISO image creation process. Now during the bootkit creation process, the status is displayed. When the process is complete, a confirmation screen is displayed, indicating that the bootable BMR ISO image was successfully generated. This screen also displays the location and platform for the image, along with a clickable link to browse to that location. After the ISO image is created and saved, you can then burn this image onto a bootable CD or DVD. You can use this bootable media to initialize a new computer system and allow the bare metal recovery process to begin. That's it. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.